Hi guys and ladies, I'm very lucky to have a special celebrity guest coming over for dinner tomorrow evening. Her preference is always the same, fish. Let's try to get some fresh fish to satisfy her fishy tastes. Today I'm going small. Heck, I'm fishing a small lake. No great white sharks in here. So I'm going to try this little finesse bait. It's called a finesse TRD. I'll put info about it in the notes. I'm going to try to catch bluegill or any bass I think is worthy of the table. Come on with me. Let's give this a try before it rains. got one. I got one. Like the second cast. Oh, it's too big. Wow. I mean, for eating? Look at that. Let's keep it. I'm hungry. So little. Oh. Nope. Too small. We can do better than this. That'll do it. It's it's small, but perfect for eating. This is what I was looking for. Kudos to the little finesse guy. He did okay today. That's plenty of fish for my guest tomorrow. I've only got these four fish, but I think that's enough. That's eight fillets. Let me start cleaning them. So here it is the next day. After filleting those bass last night, I ended up with a full pound of fish fillets but I'd rather have too much food than not enough, so I defrosted a few bluegill fillets from my freezer. I'm just rinsing off this dill weed. It's not even in the recipe. I just thought it would be a nice addition. We're supposed to get rid of the stems. We only want the fronds. Oh wow, the fragrance. My guest tonight is that celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Our relationship has been in, well, Stallville for 50 years now. I think the reason that I'm not making any headway in winning her heart is because I'm not on her level intellectually. She used to be an English professor, whereas I slaughter the English language. Sometimes she points out my errors and she looks exasperated too. So I've decided to, well, study English grammar and eliminate my mistakes. She's going to be impressed. This is going to make all the difference in the world.
In this plastic gallon bag, I've got three quarters cup of low carb flour. I ordered it online. This stuff has only about one twelfth the carbs of regular flour. The direction said to dredge the fish in the flour one at a time, but that's not my way. This is much faster. In this container, I'm going to melt a half a stick of unsalted butter. Now I'm just going to coat the bottom of the pan with some olive oil. The idea is to cook these a couple of minutes on each side. That ought to do it. Okay, now I'm just going to butter the top with this melted butter. Now, remember our dill? They're done, man, they're done. I'm gonna put these in a warm oven until Miss Cheeks arrives. Well, here we are again with that famous celebrity food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks herself. Thank you so much for joining me for dinner. And um, tonight we dined on fish and uh, mashed, uh, fake mashed potatoes. What did you think of oh, that fish? Delicious. It was wonderful. I enjoyed yeah. the entire meal. Could have been maybe a little bit more crispy. but All right, I enjoyed it. It was very good. Good. Lovely. Good. And the uh, fake mashed potatoes. Oh, yes. As usual. Very yeah, tasty. Yeah. You know, Miss Cheeks, uh, it's okay to call you by your first name now, uh, uh, Lulu. Thank yes, you. Yes. Thank you, Lulu. I wanted you to know that <clears throat> I've taken up the study of English. You, you know how you sometimes correct me with ending my sentences with prepositions? Yes, and? <clears throat> well, um, that's a mistake I'll no longer put up. That's a mistake. Uh, up with which I'll no longer put. 